All right, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. I've got all of the preamp tubes wired down to this end. I have got um, everything kind of on the board here. I've got my now my uh, filter capacitors in here, here, and here for the stage E, D, and C. And then we've got B here and A here. So we've now got all those. Uh, choke is hooked in. We've got our power connecting in. Uh, this was the ground that comes off of our already existing circuit for the <coughs> output for the speakers. Um, I've got my 1K 5 watt resistors coming off of uh, the fourth pin. Uh, and then I'm just going to be soldering up a lot of, or, you know, finishing up a lot of the power section tomorrow. Uh, I've got this guy, I'll, I'll take one screw out here tomorrow because I've got one screw in that I did to just kind of help lock all this stuff down while I was finishing it, but I still have to kind of connect in this top end and it'll be a little tight, so I'll be kind of pulling it back a little bit. Uh, and then I also need to pull a ground off of here to here. Oh, sorry, let's show that. I pull a ground from here down to here. I just haven't, I don't want to lock that tight until this is pretty much done, so... The only other thing that's a bit wonky is I need to figure out what to do with my reverb connectors. I need to kind of, uh, I'm going to get some probably clear silicone and try and glue them down to here so that they're stable and not moving. And then I have to connect them to ground, but I didn't want to connect them to ground until I got that. I might likely just um, <clears throat> run a ground um, of some kind from them to a cross over to here, but I don't know. Uh, and then over here. You've seen this before, I need to really do a better job of putting some silicone over these to protect them as well as siliconing them to the, to the bottom because they just have a little too much motion if they're you know bouncing around that's going to be bad. So, But hey, I'm pretty stoked we're getting very close and then we will have uh, a little bit of a uh, test run tomorrow hopefully, we'll see. Okay so right now we're going to give it a try um, on the Variac. We've got a grounded connected clip here and we're going to test out and see what our voltages are. We've got it all connected. The other thing's finished at this point, hopefully. And we'll turn the Varioc all the way down to zero. Turn it on. Uh, at this point, the power switch is off. So I'm just going to test and see if my uh, heater wires are getting power. So we're going to bring it up. Right now it's about 10 volts. I can test right here on voltage DC. And I don't see anything there. Okay, I'm taking 13 volts there. If I climb that up, 25 volts, we'll just kind of stop there for a minute. So now what I'm going to do, I just want to see if my heater voltages are getting anything. So I'm going to touch that, 3 tenths of a volt. Similarly over here, about 2 tenths of a volt. About the same. Same there. Just kind of checking it out, to about 0.21 volts there. 0.24. Now, by the way, I'm not plugged into anything right now as well. Um, as far as the tubes, I've got them a lot because I just want to make sure everything else is working before I start putting tubes in because you can blow tubes if things are bad that way. So, um, but yeah, for now, we're just going to try that out. So right now, there should be no voltage coming to the A positive rail. Of course, that needs to be DC. We'll try some DC voltage really quickly. And I don't know if you can read this from here. Hopefully you can. But um, let me check that. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so here's where we watch for some smoke. I've got just a 20 volts or so. We're going to turn it on. And that somebody dropping something upstairs scared the crap out of me. But um, so far, I'm seeing 200 volts there, which is the mains power. That's not right, though. That's DC. So, well, no, actually, that might be DC because once we come through. So if we connect here, so we're still at 25 volts AC. We'll go to DC. I'm going to check here on the fuse. I've got 204 volts. On my positive rail here, also 204 volts. Let's check. Yeah, so we have no tube in, so that shouldn't be getting anything. It isn't. Okay. So, but again, right there. Everything's so far looking okay. Let's check out our B rail. 199 volts. Everything looks okay so far. We're copacetic. Getting some voltages. Um, so, yeah, there's 24 volts negative there. Negative 24 volts there. Negative 24 volts there. Negative. Well, that's kind of weird. Maybe I'm not getting good contact. Try that again. Negative 24 volts there. Okay, so now I feel comfortable enough. Nothing's smoking. Nothing's going weird. I'm going to slowly bring up my voltage. So I'm going to switch back to AC. We'll check this guy out right here. I'm at about 25 volts. 30 volts. 
35, 36, and also if you can see here, I don't know if you can move out of the way, the LED lights lit up. That's a good sign too. Power is on. So now I'm going to quickly just, oh, I'm seeing a little smoke coming off of this resistor area. So I'm going to quickly power off. But my light, so that is working. That makes me worried that for some reason or other we're getting a large amount of current there because we're getting a little smoke. Now, <clears throat> again, voltage wise, DC voltage, I'm at about 37 volts. I'm going to back it down a little bit so that we're at 15 volts. We'll try it again. Turn it back on. Let me switch to DC. We've got 123 volts there by this resistor. I've got 123 volts as well. Now this is a higher watt resistor. It's supposed to handle some current, but if current's running through there, that may not be a good sign. But we are getting 123 volts here. Of course, we're low. Once we crank this up, it will go up. But um, down here on the C point, I'm getting 123. Down here on my D point, 123. Finally, down here on my last point, it's 123 as well. So you know, that's running across through there uh, at a lower voltage. Um, my voltage again is below the threshold of the LED, but if I start bringing back up again, let me go back to my voltage here. I'm getting 18 volts, 24 volts, 27 volts, still no smoke. I'm not sure if that was good or bad. I gotta watch carefully. One of the things you'll also notice, I have this other hand here. I'm not touching the chassis of the amp with my second hand because you do not want to create a circuit so I'm at 28 volts. I'm not seeing smoking. I think maybe it was my imagination. Maybe it'll be on the film, though. We'll see. Um, I always get nervous when I'm first powering up to make sure I don't roast anything. Um, bring it up a little higher. We're at 28. I think it was about 32. I was seeing a little smoke. So let me just bring it back there. 33 volts. And if we go to DC volts... At this point, I've got 262 volts. Here I have 262. And here we have 259. Here we have 258. So it's going down a little bit through there. Um, not seeing smoking now. So maybe it was just the first use through that resistor made it do a little something. But I'm going to keep monitoring it for a minute. and want to make sure we're good. Um, all in all, first power on. Not horrible. Got 263 volts there on the power rail for the tubes. 260. 260. That's looking good. So, things look okay. Nothing on that. Okay, that's a ground line, though. All right. Don't have any funny smells that I can tell. 260 volts there. All right. I will slowly ramp it up a few more volts. We're now on the Variac up to about 40 volts. I guess I can check that. And you can go nice and slow. Oh, no, I'm, I'm definitely seeing a little smoke coming off of this resistor. So that, let me shut back off again. So to me, if I'm getting smoke off that resistor, I need to figure out why. And it's, I guess it's possible, because I don't have tubes in right now, it's taking a lot of the current because the tubes aren't pulling it. But I might have to research that. So anyway, there's my first power on. Uh, I don't want to roast that that guy, so I'm going to shut it back off again. And we got it up to 41 volts DC or AC, which we're in the two to three hundred ish. I think I remember if I remember here on the DC uh, power rail, the H, uh, the what they'll call the HT or the B plus rail over here. So um, that's first step. It's looking a little better. 
I did forget to film before I first powered this on, I blew a fuse. And that was because I think I had this slid up under here a little bit, and I was likely touching this grounding section on accident, which was grounding a loop right through there. But I'm now seeing good power across the whole thing going through, which means it's not dropping out somewhere. Uh, so I think that's a good sign, but I, I don't want to, I'm going to have to research and make sure that I'm not doing something bad here by smoking that resistor. Um, but hey, it's put together. It still needs a little bit more touch-up. Like I said, once I'm sure everything's good, I'm going to silicone in all of these areas that you don't want bare and wide open. Uh, I'm going to uh, figure out a better way of hooking in my, my reverb pan. I've got to anchor these down somehow that's a little safer, and I may just... You know, silicone them to the ground and then cover silicone over these solder connections. It means anybody servicing it's probably going to hate me, but, you know. It's so that I, with the lesser, uh, what, I don't have all the tools I'd like to make everything perfect here. Which is a bit annoying, but I'm doing the best I can. So, I'm learning. Uh, so, there you go. We'll stop there and see if we can think through that figure out what's going on.